even with all our development and laws and efforts, why do we still struggle to be global leaders in environmental quality? Exploring this question can orient us to creating a realistic, feasible, and effective environmental protection effort. My name's Danielle, and I extended this question to dozens of environmental agencies and organizations and conducted interviews with a lot of representatives and wonderful people from agencies including the Department of the Interior, the Environmental Protection Agency, state legislatures, enforcement agencies, public lands agencies, oil and gas companies, research groups, conservation nonprofits, and more to ask the question, what are the barriers to effective environmental protection? The answers varied and are probably limitless. But interestingly, three major themes seem to emerge. From this question, an unintended second research question naturally emerged. What are the best approaches you've found in your work for effective environmental protection? Again, and unintentionally, three major themes emerged directly from the mouths of the environmental protection specialists from a variety of niches and expertise. What specifically is the problem? What specifically is the solution? Can we take and consolidate decades of experience across a spectrum of experts into a digestible initiative for effective environmental protection? Policy itself doesn't make a difference when there's no one who's actually taking responsibility for it. The international border was not drawn along the watershed line and water does not respect political boundaries. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to do here? This permit makes no sense. Give me a lawyer to translate it. The knowledge gap from the employee that retired with 30 years of experience and that information never got passed on. You can remove the sediment, but at the same time, you're gonna, you're gonna disrupt habitat by doing so. The no known substitutes is by far the most commonly reported a barrier to pollution prevention by industry. Everyone is on board, right? Everyone is, is excited and wanting to do the right thing. But whenever you put a budget plan in front of people, that's when things get challenged. They just weren't going to comply with the rule because they didn't agree with it. Resources, whether it's equipment, whether it's staff to do our work, um, is always a challenge fighting for budget money. For us, money is people. We only had one guy to cover 400,000 acres by himself. Also the fact that there is a very, uh, let's say, short-term you know, vision on where do you want to put your investment. The resources are going to be spread out amongst those various needs. It takes what's called relentless incrementalism. <laughs> you know, we all want to see improvements overnight, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> There's so much, so much to do, and life is so precious that I just choose not to sit in a corner somewhere and rock back and forth in fear. Be encouraged. We are moving in the right direction of eliminating barriers for good environmental policy.